Well, I'm here at the flea market and it doesn't look like I'm going to get anything today. As you can see, it's like a ghost town out here. Now, I know it's cold and it snowed yesterday, but I still figure people will be out here. It's only uh, 9.35. <laughs> All right, so we just pulled up to Hastings. We're gonna go inside and see if they got any retro stuff in lately. Oh, it smells in here. It smells like somebody farted. Ooh, Turtles Hot Chocolate Set. 50% off. Wow. That's awesome. That was a $9.97 or is a half off that? You never know. I'm gonna have to come back and look. Tiny little amiibos. So this is what the craze is about. All right, so there was nothing in Hastings that I really wanted, uh, at least not for the price that they're asking. Hastings is usually a little overpriced, but today's 50% off day at Goodwill. And honestly, I never really go to 50% off day at Goodwill because it's just madness. Pit stop time. We're gonna go to the Yavapai Humane Society thrift store. What does the fuck say? Ooh, Game Boy games. $20. Holy diarrhea water. Are you kidding me? <sighs> Alright, hopefully there's some good games over here. Ooh, sports game. You know it's a good start when you see that. What? 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 Holy. I'm so glad I made that pit stop. Two dollars. I got The Sims 2. You might not think, well, Sims 2 for Xbox ain't worth that much. I don't know if you can see that. It's factory sealed. All right, so we just pulled into Goodwill. I just want you to take a look at the parking lot. Look at that. It's full. This is what happens on 50% off day. Ice out here, snow out here. Get out of the street now. What the heck are you talking about? Okay, there's a girl talking to me right now. I'm um, freaking out a little bit. Oh, no, she's talking to herself. She's definitely talking to herself. Um, I'm just going to pretend like I don't hear anything. Ooh, the Warriors. This is awesome. PSP. Maybe I'll get this. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Stop talking to me. Please stop talking to me. Oh, anything, 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 anything. Let's go. Ooh, Ooh a GameCube. Oh, button works. $14.99. That means it's $7.50 today. Not a bad deal. No cords, no controller. Oh, I might lug it around with me, see if I can find something else. $3.99, so that's $2 for an original PS1 controller. Not bad. Not bad. Ooh. Got a little Tari plug and play. Ooh, Gingy. Gingy. Oh, man. Now I want some gingerbread. Gingerbread sounds really good right now. So there were some things in there that I would have bought in the past, but since. One of my resolutions is to buy quality over quantity. I'm not wasting my money on that stuff anymore. There was one NCAA football 2012 for Xbox 360 that I was going to pick up for $2 just for the simple fact it was traded in for a little over $3 at GameStop. But the disc was a little scratch, and if I were to get charged the refurb fee, it wouldn't even be worth it. But here's a little quick fact for you guys. The NCAA games, the later ones for, I believe, Xbox 360 and also uh, the MLB games, that like the 2K12 and 13. I don't remember the exact dates. Don't quote me on it. But keep your eye out for those because 
those have high trade-in value at GameStop because those were the last games that they released before they lost their license. So keep your eye out for those. Um, I'll put a picture of the correct ones if I'm wrong somewhere in this frame. But yeah, keep your eye out for those. So we're gonna go to GameStop. <laughs> Quick little story. I was at Walmart, frozen food section, gonna get a TV dinner. The one I went to grab was the last one. It was open and there was a piece of tape on it. I asked the guy in the frozen food section, why does this have tape on it and why is it open and why is it still in here? He goes, it's still new. Nobody's eating the chicken. So we just taped it back up, put it back in there. I got so irritated. I was just like, I'm leaving the store. But after talking to this guy, my lips got chapped. So I decided I'm gonna get some chapstick. Went to the checkout line. The only chapstick that was left of the kind I use, it was it was torn off. The little thing was torn off and they had tape on it. I got so freaking irritated. So I just left the store. This was the night before my wedding. So I just sat at home, got calm, getting ready for the next day. I've, I've saved myself for my wife. I couldn't wait till the next day. Couldn't wait till, you know, the night of our wedding. Get married, night of my wedding, just me and my wife in the hotel room. I pull down her pants. I'm getting ready to make love, sweet love to my wife. There was a piece of tape on it. That is what it's like to buy a new game at GameStop. Bow, chicka, bow, wow, chicka, bow, wow. Ooh. Xbox One. Ooh, Blood Bowl 2. I heard this game is so good it'll make you crap your pants. I need to buy this. I need my couch restained quickly. Let's see if there's anything else. Minecraft, Lords of the Fallen, blah 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 blah. Far Cry 4, that's an okay one. Anybody want to dance with me? Just Dance 2014? Anybody? <laughs> no? Okay. Ooh, Pokemon, Fire Emblem, Super Mario Bros. <sighs> have them all. Man, Blood Bowl 1 is fun, dude. Is that? Oh, have you ever played any of the Blood Bowls? Mm -mm. It's a strategical football game. What the hell did you just say? <sighs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed today's journey. We picked up the Sims game, and we picked up Blood Bowl 2 for the Xbox One. I'm putting this in right after I get done editing this video, and I'm going to have some fun tonight. So, love you guys, and until next time, keep retro gaming alive, people.